Ever since Pokemon Legends Arceus released, I always wanted to use Cleaver on the doubles ladder. Now the time is finally here. We got ourselves a Cleaver team for Regulation Day. Super excited for that one, considering everybody loves Scyther, everybody loves Scissor, and now there is a third evolution, the boy Cleaver, who is a bug and rock type. Like I said, we got a Cleaver team today for you guys. Regulation D is not out yet, but you guys seem to like the Regulation D content on the casual ladder. So that's what we're going to be rocking out with today and hopefully grabbing some wins for you guys. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, if you want to support me a little bit extra, make sure you become a member by clicking the join button or there is a link down in the description below for people who do not have the join button. So again, huge shout out to all my members. But yeah, Cleaver is here today and we have him with the Life Orb and he seems very, very strong considering he has a signature move, which is Stone Axe. Stone Axe is base 65 power with the sharpness ability that Cleaver has gets a 50% increase. So it brings it up to about 90 and then on top of that you get the stab boost and on top of that, whenever you Stone Axe, you drop Stealth Rocks on the opposing side field. Pretty OP move, really, really cool. Like I said, super excited for Cleaver. But the first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Corviknight. Corviknight, very, very solid for this team. Great bulky defensive Pokemon, and at the same time can set up Tailwind. He has Mirror Armor, the leftovers as item. Then like we already mentioned, Tailwind, Iron Defense, Body Press, and Taunt. Second Pokemon is going to be Cleaver. Cleaver has that sharpness ability to boost uh, sharp moves such as Stone Axe, or cutting moves, I should say, such as Stone Axe and X Scissor by 50%. Gets the Life Orb as item, Rock and Rock Slide, Protect, X Scissor, and Stone Axe. Indeedee is in our third slot, and Indeedee is great for support on any team. You're really not going to be not seeing Indeedee anymore because, again, it is a top tier support Pokemon. This one has the Psychic Surge, the Citrus Berry, Follow Me, Helping Hand, Dazzling Gleam, and Psychic. Fourth Pokemon is going to be another Hisuian Pokemon that I have not used on the rank ladder yet. We got Sneasler over here with Unburden and a Psychic Siege. Really pairs up well with the Indeedee. This one has Brick Break, Dire Claw, Close Combat, and Protect. It's a Fighting and Poison type, and I'm super excited to use that Pokemon, but I'm really here to showcase Cleaver. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Urshfu. In my last Regulation D video, we showcased a Water Urshfu. This one is going to be the Dark and Fighting type Urshfu. He has Unseen Fist to hit through Protects, the Choice Band to make it do crazy damage, and then it's Rockin' Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Poison Jab, and Sucker Punch. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be the brand new Pokemon. It is going to be Enamorous. It is part of the Genie Trio, or now Quadruplets and it is a fairy and flying type. He has Contrary, the Expert Belt, and then Superpower, Iron Head, Play Rough, and Protect. A lot of people are saying this Pokemon is absolutely amazing due to its stats, and I'm super excited to use it, but if you guys wanna rent this team for yourself and try it out on the casual ladder, but the code is in the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, try to get some wins with this Life Orb Cleave or Regulation D team. Something that I forgot to mention when doing the team preview is I am looking for rental codes for Regulation D. Greninja teams, Charizard teams, all the starters, Hisuian starters, you name it. Every single Pokemon in Regulation D, I need rental codes for. So if you guys are interested in that, I would love to get my hands on them and showcase them for a YouTube video. Leave your rental codes in the comment section down below or DM me over on Twitter. Link is down in the description below. But we're hopping into our first match going up against an Ursaluna and Rillaboom team. Also with Arcanine, they also have... Uh, they also have Torkoal, which is a little bit of a problem, and then Amoongus and Indeedee. Um, I'm going to go into Corviknight turn 1. I feel like Corviknight could be good, especially if they go into Intimidate. I could also go into a Pokemon like Enamorous. He has Contrary, and I kind of like that. Bringing Cleavor and Urshifu in the back end could be really, really good for us. So you know what? I think I might do that. I think I might do that. Cleavor, I cannot wait to use it. Such a cool Pokemon, especially with Stone Axe. Maybe I should have let it, but I just think Intimidate's going to come out here and having a Pokemon like Arcanine out there could be really bad. So, Contrary with Enamorous is going to be really, really good. I just get a free attack boost pretty much, and then I can kind of just roll out the battle that way. So, we'll see who they want to lead. I'm kind of hoping it's Arcanine, because then I Mirror Armor it, and on top of that, get an attack boost. So, come on. Show me Arcanine for the lead. Let me make some good plays. Amoongus and Ursaluna. Okay. I understand. I get it. I kind of forget what Ursaluna's typing is. So, what should I do from here? Let's check its typing. It's ground and normal. Okay, so ground and normal. I'm too crazy. I might just double down to Ursaluna. But you know what? I'm just going to taunt Amoongus turn one. I'm going to taunt Amoongus, and I'm just going to go for a superpower. I get a defense boost, and on top of that, I will get an, an attack boost. But he's just going to protect. So, I think he's looking to spore me. I am going to taunt this turn. 
So hopefully he's going for a spore and we just kind of like say screw you to Amoongus and he can't use any of his uh any of his moves like that. So big time taunt coming out from us. Let's see how we're gonna play this one. He might even terrestrialize Ursaluna, which could be a little bit of a problem. Yeah, you can't spore me, little boy. Oh, and this thing's guts. Hold up, wait a minute. We got a problem. I don't know its speed too well either. But I'm just gonna go for an iron defense here, and again, I'm just gonna go for a superpower. Right into the Ur Ursaluna slot. They might just keep pollen puff in Ursaluna. That could definitely be a play, but if I can get off these defense bulks, that could be really, really good. But superpower's gonna fly here. This might just KO. It doesn't, but what's really good for us, contrary ability, stats that go down, now go up, so we get a defense boost and an attack boost at the same time. And on top of that, we get off a nice lovely iron defense, so we're pretty bulked up here. He might just pile and puff his Ursaluna, and he goes for a facade in the Corbinite, who soaks rather well. And he just goes for a pile and puff into Enamorous. It's fine. We soak in. <laughs> we soak in. So our defense is boosted pretty fine here. Um, I feel like from here, I kind of maybe want to swap the Corvo. I kind of want to swap the Corvo. And the reason being is because Cleaver can just rip into Amoongus. So my play here is going to actually be to swap Corvo, even though I just defense boost on him and then get rid of the Ursaluna. That's going to be my play. That is going to be my play. So we're starting to boost the Enamorous. Plus on top of this, I really just want to get out Cleaver more so than anything. And then I'm just going to play ahead. So we're just going to keep our Corvo alive. Ursaluna is going to die out here unless it protects. And we can kind of just get after it that way because Cleaver is the man. And he's going to withdraw the Ursaluna. Okay. So we got Cleaver on the field. He's going to go into Arcanine, which kind of sucks. Not going to lie, but my boy can still do some big time damage. But you're just going to boost my Enamorous' attack stat. The contrary is so good. It's so good. So Superpower is going to fly here. Dealing some massive damage. And we are thriving out strong here. Um... Hmm. That's my play from here. I think we're thriving. I really do. I really do. I might terrestrialize my cleaver just to get off more damage and make sure that thing goes down. But yeah, we have his Amoongus pretty much stuck, so we, we, we start off here pretty well here. We start off definitely really well. But from here, you know what? I'm gonna say screw this. I'm gonna terrestrialize. Why well, I think that was super effective. Ah, uh, he's not poison. Hmm. I'm just gonna rock slide. I'm gonna rock slide. Rock slide probably KOs Arcanine. I would think it does, and then I'm just going to go into another superpower, or now I'm just going to Iron Head into Amoongus. kind of want this thing going. We'll see what he wants to do. But I think we're sitting in a really decent spot. Cleaver is here. East Speed's going to come out here. We're soaking. Our defense is through the roof right now. I don't think our opponent really knows what to do. Iron Head's going to pick up some big time damage. I think it's Rocky Helmet, and Rock Side's going to fly. Probably KO and Arcanine. It does, and chipping up some nice damage onto Amoongus. So even though we're minus one, we're still hitting hard. Cleaver still hits hard. His attack stat is really, really high. So Moogus gets the flinch, and that pretty much sets us up for a game one victory, which is huge. Which is huge. Actually, Rillaboom comes out here. Rillaboom's rather scary. And now is probably where I terrestrialize. Now is probably where I terrestrialize, right? And just X scissor him? 100%. 100%. Gotta get rid of that. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna Iron Head and uh, dump on the Moogus. I'm gonna say bye bye to a Moogus. Enamorous is a real deal with Contrary. That is incredible. I gotta check our stats after this, but we're sitting in such a good spot with Enamorous. His defense boosted, especially uh, when we're going up against physical attackers or any type of Intimidate Pokemon. You legit just get a free attack. It's, it, it changes the game. It's such a strong lead. That's why that Pokemon is going to be super, super strong. But we're going to be showcasing Cleaver here. We end up terrestrializing it. Game one, he's going to end up Rage Powdering. Enamorous should go first, so then Cleaver should be able to still X his Aurora Boom, which could be good. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Perfect. Iron Head gets rid of Moongus. X is now going to slide back to the Aurora Boom, and that's your one shot, no problem. Again, we're minus one, but this thing hits hard. Sharpness boost, stab boost, terror boost, super effective boost, life orb boost. Cleaver's the real deal, too. That thing's attack stat is ridiculous. Wow, hot start for us for today's video. Hot start for your boy. Hot start for your boy. Plus, he put out the grassy terrain, which I actually haven't seen in Scarlet and Violet at all, really, right? Besides our Balaba, Little Boom's now a great Pokemon for that. But yeah, we're thriving here. We are thriving. This is, we're, we're gonna get a sweep because we swapped our core tonight. Love it. I love, I love sweeps. Especially with these two. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ursaluna comes out here as his final Pokemon. It's game set match. I'm sorry. We're gonna KO you. 
I didn't use Stone Axe this match, but you know what? I want Cleaver to pick up the final KO. But I think they cancel battle. I protect my Enamorous. And I'm going to go into an X-Scissor for the win. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. That was too easy. Even though we played pretty good. We made some great calls. But using two brand new Pokemon that I have never used before, i say I played really well with them. I would say I played really well. Now I just need to start learning their stats a bit more. But I wonder what our opponent's doing. I would just cancel by now, right? Taking a long time to pick its moves. <laughs> That's kind of whack. Probably doing a bunch of calculations. If I do this, that, this, and that, I can win this game. You're done. You're done. I'm pretty sure my Cleaver outspeeds you as well. Yep, Cleaver's gonna X Scissor again with its Terror type, Ursa Luna. Bye bye. See you later. 1 0 to get this video started. First match, we started off with a sweep. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I absolutely love it. But we're hopping into our second match here, going up against a Series 2 team, right? This is like a Series 2 ish team. Fluttermane. Great Tusk, Torkoal, Iron Hands, Boring Moon, and Corviknight. So pretty strong team here. Who should I lead and how should I play it? I feel as Indeedee and Sneasel could definitely be very good, especially if they want to go fake out with the Iron Hands. So I am actually going to lead both of those. Plus, Sneasel's stats are godlike. 172 speed, 200 attack. Well, and that's wild. I think bringing Urshfu in the back end, alongside with Cleaver. Could actually win us the match so i'm gonna lock that in i'm gonna lock it down we're gonna look to go back to back here but that first match was carried by enamorous and then eventually cleaver took over in the back end but i kind of forced cleaver out there i didn't have to bring cleaver out there considering our coordinate was plus two on defense i just want to bring cleaver out there he's just such a cool pokemon and i really want to use him but did not get to use his signature move yet stone axe is the real deal but uh sneezler i feel like it's gonna be very good especially pairing up with indeedee you got that unburdened boost Everything about it is really, really good. Plus, his typing is really good. I like his typing a lot. Let's see who they end up leading. There's going to be Iron Hands and Torkoal, which I don't mind. Can't fake me out. Um, I think I'm just going to go straight for the Torkoal. I think going straight after Torkoal has got to be my play. I doubt Torkoal protects, right? I doubt it protects. I mean, Quirk Drive's going to get boosted. But I doubt he protects. So I'm thinking of just like close combating him. And on top of that, just going for a Psychic. Right? I think getting rid of Torkoal is going to be huge for us. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm doubling straight down Torkoal. I'm going to say he doesn't protect, but if he protects, this could be bad. But I'm looking to get things started off hot here. But yo, Sneasler is shiny. So dope. That like goldish yellow tint. It's fire. It's like not fully yellow. It's not fully gold. It's a little bit in between. With a, It's just a, a, a dapple of color. It's just mwah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let's see what they end up doing. Again, we we can't really afford Torkoal to protect here. So we're hoping Torkoal just wants to go for, like, try to get off an eruption or something. Be fine by me. Just don't protect, little turtle. That's all I ask of you. You can withdraw. You can do whatever you want besides protect. You can do anything but protect. And now since I said that, this thing's going to protect. I'm going to be very upset. I think he doesn't really know what he wants to do. He might terrestrialize Iron Hands. He withdraws the Iron Hands. Cool. We're going after Torkoal. No protects. I doubt he protects now that he's withdrawing his Pokemon. And he's going to go into who? The Don fan. The Great Tusk. The Great Tusk comes out here. No way you protect the Torkoal. You do not. Cool. The Torkoal's going to take some big time damage from close combat. And then on top of that, Psychic. I don't think Psychic KO. But still, some nice damage here. Nice big time Psychic. How much damage is that doing? Oh, 1 HP. Really? 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 Come on. Come on with that. Come on with that. Um, from here, I'm just going to go for another close combat. I'm looking to get off as much damage as I possibly can. And then just Dazz and Gleam on top of that. Because that will be super effective onto the uh, Great Tusk. And Dazz and Gleam will finish off the Torque. So that's pretty solid for us. I mean, he could 100% protect the Torkoal here. And then go for an EQ. Which I highly think is going to be a play. But I feel as we have a decent enough start for us. To actually uh, win this match with our back end Pokemon. So I kind of like what we're saying. I'm just kind of upset that that didn't take out Torkoal. Legit uh, survived on 1 HP. But he helping hands, which is a smart play. And he's probably he's probably going for the EQ, correct? Close combat's going to fly. Should be able to soak pretty well. And can you outspeed Indeedee? Show me you outspeed. Go ahead, Indeedee. Outspeed. Do him dirty. You do not. Can you eat up that EQ, Indeedee? You don't. Oh, the helping hand did me dirty. The helping hand did me dirty. Takes out my DD. Torkoal's gone. And uh, from here, we bring out some rather fast Pokemon. So we have some fast Pokemon on the field, which is great. 
Um, we can't sucker punch. I think we're not sitting in a terrible position. I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. So I'm gonna bring out my Cleavor. I'm gonna bring out my Urshi Ursh. And we'll go from there. We just have to figure out the move that we want to choice into, right? Because we have choice ban on Urshi. So out comes Stone Axe Hands, Cleavor, the dog, absolute beast, and Urshfu, who's OP. Let's see what they go into from here. Let me flutter me. Ooh. We don't really like that. We don't really like the flutter me. We really don't like the flutter me. We really don't like the flutter me. I'm gonna have to stone axe this thing down, and I can't rasslize in fighting. I really can't. Um, I cannot rasslize in fighting. Uh, you know what? We're gonna rasslize in the bug here. I'm just gonna X scissor that. We can't. I'm still gonna Thrasilize in the bug. I'm gonna choice in the wicked blow. I'm gonna double down on Fluttermane here. A little bit of a problem for us. Fluttermane's definitely a problem. <laughs> I hate playing Fluttermane's, man. They're just so good. So we end up Thrasilizing straight in the bug. Cleaver, we're hoping you can just clutch this game up for us. It's an absolute beast. Um, he ends up protecting. That's fine. We're wicked blowing through that. That could be some big time damage. EQ's going to fly here. That's exactly why I terrestrialize. I want to be able to soak this up. You know, this, this is going to be a nice chunk of damage. So wicked blow is going to fly. We're kind of hoping this just KOs. And it does. So stone axe is going to slide over. That's, that's big time. That's big time. That's big time. It's kind of upsetting that Great Tusk does outspeed. Because EQ can KO. It's very upsetting that he outspeeds. Hmm. Hmm. So this match is not looking good for us. Iron Hands comes back out here. Stones are going to dig into him. Um, can't really do too much here. I have to get rid of this thing. I have to double down on this Pokemon. I have to get rid of him. I doubt he EQs. He might not EQ. He might just, actually he could with if he terrestrializes his uh, Iron Hands. But this match is not looking good for us. That Great Tusk is just ripping into us at this point. But we're kind of hoping Great Tusk just protects. That would be probably the best bet, right? Actually, I don't know. But I don't even think we KO him. We're two not very effective shots. We kind of just need the sun to wear off, I guess. Hmm. This is such a good match. We're probably going to lose it, but still. Still we're fine. He goes for eight. Went for a fake out. Now he EQs. Yeah, we still lose this one. We still lose this one all day. Hurts the soul, man. Unless this KOs. Unless this KOs. I don't think it's going to KO. Wait a minute. Cleavor? Cleavor? The man? The clutchest Pokemon ever? Did I just die to life orb damage? I did not. Cleavor? Uh, now what does most damage here? X Scissor does, right? X Scissor does the most damage. Hold up, Cleavor. Let me ch let me check that. You got a sharpness boost. Slicing moves. X Scissor is definitely a slicing move. Plus we're terrored. Yeah, X Scissor's our play. Cleavor? Are you gonna do this? Cleavor? Bro, oh, that thing hits so hard. He hits so hard. Got a Cleaver. So he's got a Terrasilize. That's an odd Terra. That's an odd Terra because we're not very effective anyway. And what are you Terrasilizing into? Is the real question. Cleaver? Should have done that last turn. They should have done that last turn. Definitely should have done that last turn. Cleaver with the clutch up. Even though our opponent made some bad plays, probably should have lost that battle. Really cool, we got to showcase Cleaver there. This thing is hitting like a truck. We're 2-0. Let's hop into our third and final. And look for a perfect record. Honestly, I'm pretty baffled by us winning that last match. But we take it. Our opponent made a few bad plays. Gave us the victory pretty much. But again, we're 2-0. Let's win this third and final battle and showcase this team a little bit more. I definitely want to use Cleaver again because this video is all about Cleaver. But uh, we might use the other Pokemon. We could use Sneasler here. We could use Sneasler here. Could definitely use Sneasler, even though we used Sneasler in the last one. But I think I'm just going to set up a Tailwind with Corvo. I definitely think that's our play and bring Cleaver in the back end. So Corvo and Cleaver is going to be our lead. Definitely got to bring that Urshifu. And then I just think Enamorous is going to be the play. 
right? Very, very solid team here. I think we can definitely pull it off, especially if we get some speed up here. But I don't want to take these teams too lightly, considering they still have very strong Pokemon. And they can definitely take us out. But dude, Cleave were hitting like an absolute truck. I didn't think I was going to be able to KO that, uh, that Great Tusk. And it did. Sharpness boost, X's or stab, Terra boost, life orb. Everything about Cleaver is amazing. But I'm going to try to set up the spikes early on here. And he ends up leading. Okay, this is actually very fine for us. It's actually very fine because I'm just going to set up the Tailwind. And I might just X's or this thing down. Try to just one-shot it. I think that's my play all day. He might set up a Reflect, but I think from here we should... We should be rather fine, right? I could have Terrastalized, but I still see us just dump it on that Amoogus turn one. Which he probably just Thrasselize, right? Not a move, it's Brute by that. My fault. Which he does Thrasselize, into what typing? Rats. Should have Stone Axe him. Stone Axe would have been a great play. Would have been a great play. Well, let's see what they want to do here. Reflect gonna get set up? Yeah, okay. Reflect gets set up. Uh, I'm not too worried unless this thing has Terror Blast. Could be bad. X is gonna fly here. I can Stone Axe it next turn and KO it if we stay alive. But we'll see what they want to do. We shall see. So speed is going to be our best round. We didn't actually need a Tailwind, but it's fine. He goes for Terra Blast. Can you go after Corvo, please? Okay, he does go after Corvo. Corvo probably dies out, but actually, no, it survives. Corvo's really bulky. And I think we're thriving here. We're, we're chilling here. I really do feel as we're chilling here, because I can just go for a Iron Defense, stack up defense, and at the same time, pick up a KO onto Brute Bonnet. We should still outspeed. We definitely still outspeed because we have Tailwind. We just can't be paralyzed because if I pick up this KO, we, we drop stones too, which is huge. Three Iron Defense up. Go ahead, Cleavor. Do your work. My man, Stone Axe coming in hot here. We get rid of him. And on top of that, this move is absolutely amazing. Dropping stones onto the field. Stealth Rocks are on the field. Just It's just ridiculously strong move. I love it. Look at that. Stealth Rocks on the field. On the field, so anybody who swaps in is going to take some damage. So it's really good at taking off uh, Focus Ashes, all that good stuff. But now Corvo's here. He is plus two on defense, which is huge. So hopefully they throw out a physical attacker. And it is going to be who? It's going to be Toxtricity. Okay, so Toxtricity comes out here. Um, And I'm just going to body press you and then... Then I think I might just go for... I might double down into you. But you know, I want to get off some damage on Toxtricity. So he's going to Thunder Wave me. He's going to Paralyze me again. I still feel as we should be able to outspeed. Because basically, it's, the speed is even now. Because Tailwind doubles it. And that's what I was hating on. I didn't want to be paralyzed. So we did outspeed that thing. He's going to go for an Overdrive. And that's just going to be some big time damage. So... Oh man. The Paralyze is doing me so bad. He's just going to get off another one. He's just going to get off another one on whatever my next Pokemon is. And this thing just throws spread. So he has got to go. You've got to go. You've got to go. I uh, could choice to a Poison Jab. It's not bad, but I'd rather save it. I'd rather just go into Enamorous. Things a problem. Things a problem. We're going to we're gonna have to use our Terra. What do we have here? We have Fighting Terra. Yeah, I think we have to Fighting Terra. And the reason I say we have to Fighting Terra is because of uh we're part flying type and i cannot take another hit with electric it would just dump on me it would take me out so i'd rather just go straight fighting here and get off some damage because urshfu could definitely win this match for us right urshfu could definitely win this match especially with the enamorous we, sh we can potentially pick up a double ko which could be big time for us i know they still have reflect up and light screen does come out here which is just a waste of a turn we have physical attackers and playoffs gonna fly this is ko doesn't, but still some really good damage for us. Stone Axe, not going to KO, but we Terrasalize for a good... Oh, that's some big damage. We like that. <laughs> we like that. And there's the Overdrive. The Overdrive keeps us alive another turn. That's exactly what I wanted. Overdrive keeps us alive for another turn. And from here, I can bring out Urshu. Now, the real question is, do I want a choice to a Sucker Punch? Do I want a choice to a Sucker Punch? What other Pokemon could he have? Fluttermate? Oh, Cartwonackle. Oh, man. This could be bad. Um, P 
problem here is going to be the paralyze. We're going to suck. We're going to choice to a sucker punch here. We're choice into a sucker punch. We get rid of Toxtress. This is match too close. There's a the Thunder Wave. Did we just dodge that? Oh no, we're Dark type. Ooh wee. Why didn't I think of that? I always forget about Prankster and Dark type. And now we win this match. Awesome, dope, dope, cool. That's huge. That's huge. So that Terra from Enamorous was really, really big. And on top of that, that uh, Prankster not working on Dark type was even bigger. But Garganacle's gonna come out here. And this is where we kind of see a little bit of a problem, right? My Sucker Punch isn't gonna be anything crazy. I mean, we can go into this fighting move, which could be good. And, I mean, Sucker Punch isn't that bad. I'd rather have our fighting move, but let's see how much damage we do. Yeah, see? That's what I was talking about. It's nothing crazy. So we're just gonna superpower here. This could actually win us the match right here. It does big damage. We are gonna get a defense boost and an attack boost. So if I could just live one more turn, that'd be huge. If it goes for the body pressing. Yeah, that's that's gonna be game for us. Ooh, we win this match all day. So if he wants to terrestrialize into Ghost, we're gonna kill him with Sucker Punch. If he wants to terrestrialize into, or if he doesn't want terrestrialize, we'll kill him with Superpower. So awesome. That match actually came down to the wire, but we're gonna be three now. He ends up protecting. You end up protecting, kind sir. That's fine. I don't I don't really mind that. You have no salt cure on the field. It's just it's just a waste of a turn. But dude, we killed it in today's video. I love this team, especially Cleaver. Cleaver was ripping. Cleaver's a dog. Cleaver's a dog. He hits so hard. If he's landing a super effective shot, chances are your Pokemon's dead, right? Chances are that Pokemon's dead. The only problem is his typing is a little, a little eh. But I still love it. But we're gonna go into a superpower. We're gonna drop another sucker punch. He couldn't waste out sucker punch turns, which could be big, but. I feel as we have this match in the bag. In the bag. Wrap it up. 3-0 again for Regulation D teams for Jeans. Did we play any Regulation D teams? We might have been match number one, but we swept the match number one, which was awesome. Yeah, because they had Ursa Luna. So yeah, match number one, we swept it. Hold up. Stop that. Stop that. What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? You wasting out my my moves? I only have one more sucker punch left. I'm just trying to get some HP back. I only have one more sucker punch left. <laughs> Which is kind of annoying. But Reflect's gone. You just did yourself pretty bad. Your Reflect was your last hope. But yeah, I got two superpowers left. And you're not laying the triple protect. So we can sucker punch, we can superpower. What are you going for? What move are you going for? Recover. K Yo, Enamorous. KO it. You got to attack with and Reflect's gone. This should be no problem. Cool. Awesome. If that thing would have came back, that would have been ridiculous. But hey, 3-0, perfect record yet again for you guys. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a perfect record and showcase Cleaver to its fullest potential. We also got to showcase two other, actually three other Pokemon that we haven't used in Scarlet and Violet yet. Sneasler, a little bit match number two, Enamorous in match numbers one and match number three, and then Urshfu, I think we brought into all three battles. I could be wrong, but we brought them in, I know, for a couple. But guys... That is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my Pokemon content goes live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.